हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर् चानल ऐम आशन डैरेक्टर आफ् साधन स्टडी सर्किल ई हव बी इन टीचिंग मैथमेटिक्स लास्ट ट्वेंटी सिक्स इयर्स फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हेव सब्सक्रैब मई चानल प्लीज सब्सक्रैब अंड प्रेस द बेलका टू गेट मई लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो ई वु लाइक टू टीच यू कांग्रियसी आफ ट्रैंगल कांग्रियन what are congruent the objects which have the same shape and same size are called congruent to understand this here we have two objects these are same shape and same size to checking this congruency is the method of superimposition so the, these are best example to understand this congruent congruency of line segments the line segments has only one dimension that is length so if two line segments have same length then they are called congruency for examples here we have one here we have two line line segments 10 cm 10 cm so these are these two are congruent because the line segment has only one dimension that is length and also if two line segments are congruent congruency then they are of same length these are congruent then they are same length the this is ab cd if they are congruent then we can write ab ab congruent A B congruent C D. We can write simply A B is equal to C D. The symbol for congruence is this is the symbol for congruence. Congruence of triangles. if the corresponding parts of two two triangles are congruent then the triangles are congruent let us observe two triangles corresponding parts I, friends in this video i would like to teach you symmetry in this video symmetry we are going to learn what is a symmetry what is line symmetry line of symmetry vertical axis of symmetry horizontal axis of symmetry multiple lines of symmetry paper cutting using symmetry how to draw a symmetric figures let us learn one by one first what is a symmetry the figure which can be divided into identical halves is called symmetry once again the figure which can be divided into identical halves is called symmetry let us observe the cover of a scrapbook 
This is a cover of scrapbook. If we divided from here, these two apps are identical equal. Let us check this. If we fold it like this, all the edges of this cover will be coincide exactly. So that's why this is a symmetric figure or symmetric thing. Next, line symmetry. What is a line symmetry? If the figure is folded along a line, each part coincides with the other part exactly is called line symmetry. Let us observe once again this cover of scrapbook. We are folding from this along the line each part is coincides with the other parts exactly. So, this is the example for line symmetry. This is a, a line in this uh, symmetry figure. Third one, the line of symmetry. What is a line of symmetry. The line which divides a figure into two identical parts is called the line of symmetry. Let us observe in this symmetry. This is the line of symmetry. One more example. This is a square shaped paper. If we fold it like this, this is horizontal line of symmetry. If we fold it like this, this is vertical line of symmetry. If we fold it like this, in this case also, it all parts coincide exactly. So, it is diagonal line of symmetry. So, let us learn more about uh, vertical line of symmetry, horizontal line of symmetry. First, uh, vertical line of symmetry. What is a vertical line of symmetry? The line that divides from top to bottom is called uh, vertical line of uh, symmetry. Let us observe in this figure, in this letter, So this is a, a letter A in this from top to bottom, dividing from top to bottom. So this is called a vertical line of a symmetry. The letters H, A, H, I, M, O, T, V, W, X, Y have vertical line of symmetry. Let us check once. So understood. Next, uh, horizontal line of uh, 
symmetry. What is a horizontal line of symmetry? The line which divides from left to right is called horizontal line of symmetry. Let us observe in this figure. If we divide it like this, this dotted line divided this letter identically from left to right. So this is called a horizontal line of symmetry. The letters B, C, D, E, H, I, K, O, X have horizontal line of symmetry. Let us check once. From left to right. Here we have a note. The letters F, O, G, J, N, P, Q, R, S, Z have no line of symmetry. Multiple lines of symmetry. To understand this multiple lines of symmetry, we are taking a square of paper and folding it first horizontally, then folding half of this paper like uh, horizontally. Now opening this, unfolding, then folding diagonally and again folding off If we unfold it, we will get uh, these many line of symmetries. One, this is one diagonal, vertical, diagonal line of symmetry, horizontal line of symmetry. One, two, three, four. So, a square has a four line of symmetry. So, we understood so far a figure may have no line of symmetry, only one line of symmetry, or two lines of symmetry, or more means multiple lines of symmetry. Here we have some more examples to understand number of lines of symmetry. First, a scaling triangle. No two sides are equal in scaling triangle. So, it has no lines of symmetry. Second one, an isosceles triangle. Two sides of triangle are equal. For this, we have one line of symmetry. These dotted lines showing line of symmetry. So, one line of symmetry. An isosceles triangle have one line of symmetry. Next to rectangle
a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Next, an equilateral triangle. All sides equal in a equilateral triangle. It has one, two, three. An equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. Circle. So we understood circle, a circle has countless number of line symmetry, means infinite number of line, line symmetry. Countless. or infinite paper cutting using symmetry using this symmetry we can make beautiful designs or structures let us see an activity this is a square of paper if we fold it like this again like this now I am cutting this Now I am unfolding we we got a a design this is one more square shape paper This is one more design. How to draw a symmetric figures? Now let us draw.
here is given like this. Now we have to draw like this. This is this is a, a symmetric figure, and also we can draw this is not a symmetric. This is asymmetric. Let us draw one more figure. Here given one line, here given two lines, here three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. And fifth step one, two, three, four, five. So this is a symmetry figure. If we fold it like this, it will coincide each and every part. And also like this, and also like this, and also like this, and also like this. Friends, I think you understood what we learnt so far in this uh, video symmetry if there is any doubt you may write in my comment box i will clear your doubt friends if you haven't subscribed my channel you immediately subscribe to get my latest updates and also share it to your friends to help them and encourage for me to make more interesting videos.